Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a battery. This battery is made from 18650 battery cells and is a ATES 2P battery. This uses 16 batteries and even Elon Musk himself would be proud of this battery. So this is cracking with the making. To make a battery, you surprise need some battery cells to start off with and these are ones to recommend. Samson 30 Qs. These have a whopping discharge rate of 15 amps and an amazing capacity of 3000 milliamps. Please only buy from Encon. Encon are a drilling retailer of all batteries and great prices. We're going to make an ATS 2P battery. This basically means we have two batteries connected in pairs as parallel and then put in a series of eight sets, meaning ATS 2P. A 3P battery would be better because this increases the capacity of each cell. So if one battery is 3000 milliamps, and if a 2P battery, this times the milliampage by two, not the voltage. So the 2P battery would be 6000 milliamps, and the 3P battery would be 9000 milliamps. This increases the range, but not the voltage, the voltage is for speed. And 10S is normally the max you'd go. Now we've got the boring stuff out way, we're ready to connect the batteries together into two pairs for a 2P battery. You can either hot glue each battery together, just down, down the seams. But if you do this, please buy insulation paper because this part here is negative right to this top line here. This bit's positive. So let's say this um, insulation abraded away, it would create a big short circuit. This will lead to a big fire because lithium is really flammable and volatile. So definitely buy insulation paper. And this is the other method if you've got a spot welder. If you'd like to print out these connections and buy these on eBay, these are just basic holders. These are the ones you can use for this build. And if you can't afford a spot welder, you could use my um, casing. I designed this myself to use Meccano. Only real technical Meccano works. And also it's nickel plated, it's just like nickel strip. Okay, these have been freshly baked for my Ender 3. The other ones didn't really work, but this took around 4 hours to print both of these then only to find out the holes are too small. So my Dremel, I made the holes bigger to hopefully fit the batteries nicer. So what I'm going to do, do two sets of each battery. Look at that beauty, even the guy Elon Musk would be happy with this. Here's what a finished sport world looks like. You can see this is a circuit from this one, to that one, to that one. Now, if my calculations are correct, there's to be around 27.4 volts. So let's check if a voltmeter, for this project we will have a wire voltmeter. So 27.5, that's good. Yes, I made a battery without exploding my house up. Now you're gonna solder the BMS cables. The first black one, which you see here, goes on the first negative of each battery. For the rest, go on the first positive of each battery. You'll see me soldering these in a second. Now you're ready to solder a B plus wire of a BMS onto a battery. This solders on the first negative of the battery pack, the same wire as you wire the back wire to. Now what I do is plug in this cable here. Then we're gonna test it with a voltmeter. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna test the voltage for the pack to see if it all works and we wired it correctly. So what you do, you put your black negative here yeah. 
that says 27.4 so that means we have a perfect working battery so I hope you like this video please comment, subscribe, how I can improve as well I love positive feedback and ways to improve my YouTube and please subscribe because it's free and it helps so much it helps me massively if you subscribe it also helps my cottage work